Hi, I'm Merrick D'Amato. And I'm Classic Gamer. And welcome back to Let's Play Broken Sword, The Shadow of the Templars. That's so much better than Circle of Blood. Circle of Blood. As I said, Gabriel Knight, Circle of Blood. Cool. Dracula, Circle of Blood. Cool. But fucking Broken Sword? Come on. I think it's just called Circle of Blood, a Broken Sword game. That doesn't make sense for the first game in the series to be called that. No, but it also doesn't make sense that it's called that. The fourth game's called Secrets of the Ark, a Broken Sword game. That mm. makes even more or less sense. No, that makes more sense, because at least Broken Swords is established. It's like, uh, for example, Gabriel Knight. You have Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers. Then The Beast Within, a Gabriel Knight mystery. But it'd be weird to call it Gabriel Knight, some, uh, a Gabriel something something, a Gabriel Knight mystery before Gabriel Knight was established. You know what I mean? Yes, I know what you mean. But and, however, anyway, we have to talk to this this man who let leave shit on the floor of his store. We we, we have seen <laughs> a story done well about the Ark of the, the. Obviously, you know what the Ark is in the fourth game. It's pretty obvious. What it's it the Ark is. of the Covenant, right? Exactly, but. Whatever you do, don't look at it. We we we've seen that story done well. I'll I'll leave you that. I'll leave you to think about that one. Oh, you... is it like a Da Vinci Code situation? No, it's not. So I mean, where I refer to Da Vinci Code is, you take Last Crusade and you take all the fun out of it, and then you get Da Vinci Code. <laughs> Yeah, we get an ending of um, being told that the other main um, protagonist is actually the Holy Grail. Really? Uh, yeah, or, or Descendant. Is no? Is that the Wait, ending of of the Broken Sword game? No. no. Oh, thank God! Because I, 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 no, I, no, 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 no. I'm talking about Da Vinci Code. Sorry. Oh, okay, no. okay. <laughs> you anyway. worried me. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will say this: there are obviously in games. There is when there's a series. There's weaker games and stronger games, right? Gabriel Knight Three. Gabriel Knight Three. Yeah, probably the the fan favorite is probably. I'd say probably the first game is a fan favorite. I personally like the second game more so. Um, Broken Sword Three is okay. Two point five is not bad. It's a good fan game. But four is for me the weakest. But it's not about. It's not. An awful we'll game. we'll give our thoughts on this on uh, the series as a whole once we're done the last game. Anyway, we have a guy to talk to. Yes. Excuse me. Bonjour, Monsieur. Please come in. Welcome. Leave the mundane world behind. For in these four walls, fantasy is king. And uh, I it, don't of want a costume. Didn't you ever dress up when you were a child? Not that I remember. Incredible! You'll be telling me next that you never shared your elder sister's lingerie? I don't have a sister, and I think I'd look pretty silly in a brassiere. I just need some information. Of course. How can I help you? Do you want this red nose back? Not after it's been worn, thank you. What does this tool mean to you? Nothing, monsieur. That's boring. Think of something up. Come on. <laughs> Does this dirty tissue mean anything to you? Hmm. Let me smell that. Excuse me? <laughs> Best Imer's number seven, white pancake. Theatrical grease paint, right? Oh, oui, monsieur. La creme de la creme of Cespian accoutrement. Have you sold any of it recently? Yes, two can. Okay, I must say, he's a he he is he is a he's a phony. <laughs> you know why I say he's a phony? Why? It's this uh, uh, such and such white pancake grease paint. Yes, no, pancake and grease paint are two entirely different things. <laughs> <laughs> they are not the same thing. Have you heard of a man named Plantile? I do not recall any one of that name. 
I'm looking for a man who hired a clown costume from you. Oui, monsieur. I do not see how I can help. Don't you keep a record of costumes that you've rented out? Of course, monsieur, but... Uh... Well, then, I'd like to check your records. Give me the names of everyone who's rented a clown suit. Impossible. There are too many. The clown I'm looking for is a cold-blooded killer. Give me his name, and I'll see he's brought to justice. I'd help you if I could, but you can't expect me to remember all my customers. You see, the clown costume is our most popular line, monsieur. On average, we hire out more than 30 clown suits a week. Jesus You'll Christ. have to give me more to go by. A description, perhaps? How come clowns are so popular? I think it has something to do with their unpredictable nature. Personally, I think clowns should be banned, along with mimes. Oh, come now. Who doesn't love clowns? Me, for one. Thanks for your help, buddy. My pleasure, monsieur. Allow me to shake you by the hand. Huh? Uh, well, okay. What are you trying to do, kill me? You did not find it amusing? I never saw the funny side of electroshock therapy. Eh bien, it is yours to keep. A gift? Do I need a license? No, but I give you a word of warning, monsieur. What? Remember to switch it off before you visit the toilet. <laughs> yeah, great. By the way, I picked up... By the way, I had shit on my hands. I hope you enjoy it. It's my gift to you. <laughs> do you know what? Right. He says, remember to switch it off before you visit the toilet. How would he fucking know that unless he had he done that? Well, electricity and water. It's not really that complicated. I'm not, I'm not really thinking about that. I'm thinking about like when you actually go to the toilet and you, you know. <laughs> you can ask. ask him to shake your hand. Hey, you! What do you want now? Would you like to shake hands with me? No, I wouldn't. One of the real pleasures of being rich is not having to be polite. You're rich? Oh, yeah, so, so just, just so I gotta you know, go. This is really Don't let me keep you. Pardon? Um, the, it's not really explained in this version, but um, he puts a bet on that horse and he wins. Oh, cool. So he ends up buying the horse. He buys the hole? Yes. He buys a hole. <laughs> yes. Sergeant Moo? Uh, yes. All right, let's add assault to our list of crimes. Would you like to shake my hand, Sergeant? Not while I'm on duty, monsieur. The gesture could be misconstrued. Okay, go back to the later, police station and ask the guy in there to shake your hand. That's the funny, that's the funny reaction. <laughs> I'm very sorry for what I'm about to say. Let's add to our list of charges. Uh, post the police. Yep, indeedy. Hi, it's me again. Again? Yes, I spoke to you earlier. But of course. It is Monsieur Hardy. Stobart. Uh, George Stobart. You're not James Bond. Don't do that. <laughs> I'd like to shake you by the hand. Do you want to be arrested for assaulting a policeman? Huh? I noticed the shake and shock buzzer concealed in your hand. <laughs> so we can, can we show him the picture? You can. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, monsieur, I do not. I have no memory for faces. You're a cop. I, never mind. <laughs> Thanks for your help, officer. All right, now go back to the shop and um, show him everything else. All right. You don't need to bring anyone yet. Yes, I do. No, oh, God's sake. <laughs> Harassing. Hello? Who is this? Two of two. Forget it. Now I'll point out that I'm harassing him from a police station. 
Yes, but he doesn't know that. No. Uh, la risée de monde. Can we show him the photograph now? Yep. Excuse me. Try and give him the buzzer oui, back. Monsieur? Do you want this buzzer back? No. You keep it. Do you recognize this man? Ah oui, he was here this morning. He chose two costumes. Bozo the clown and Seamus the pixie. A pixie? Very smart. Green silk with a taffeta lining. He gave me his name as Monsieur Khan. Oh, Mr. Khan. So is that everything? Is that everything here? Pretty much. Yeah. Thanks for your now help, buddy. Back to me, guys. My pleasure, Monsieur. Or you can ring Todrick if you want, and then we can go to Nico later. What does Todrick have to say? Well, now you know the identity of the clown. You ah, can tell him that. Yes. And he gives you the answer. He gives you the idea of where we want to go next. So you can either you can go anywhere and use any phone you want. You've got three choices. Well, we can use Nico's phone, right? Yes, you can. Saves the trip. Oh, hi. Hello, my handsome friend. Would you like to shake my hand? No, I wouldn't. I can see the future, remember? Your point. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? Mmm, what a hunk. He's a killer. I can see that. His eyes say it all. See you later. That's right, monsieur. You will. Can we shock Nico? You could try. <laughs> Salut, Josh. What news? Also, could you learn to knock shot. before coming into my apartment? He does basically knock. Yeah, I like it. What are you supposed to be? <laughs> I didn't hire a costume. These are my clothes and you know it. Did you ask about the clown? Yeah. He used the name Khan. He hired two costumes, the clown and a pixie. Then we're one jump ahead of him. How do you make that out? He probably plans to use the pixie suit next time he kills. Oh God, don't let it be me. I don't deserve to die at the hands of a pixie. Yes, you don't do. be silly, George. That won't happen. Oh, no? No. Because every time you see a pixie, you're going to run like hell. The guy at the novelty shop gave me oh, this. Oh, come on. What is it? A hand buzzer. You put it in your hand and give people a electric shock. You disappoint me, George. Why? It's a gag. A practical joke. <laughs> if you ever use it on me, I'll break your arm. Okay, okay. I get the picture. <laughs> now try and use it on it. Go on. Try and hey, use Nico, it. shake hands with me. No chance, Buster. <laughs> now use your telephone. So... Sure, go ahead. Thanks. <sighs> Hello? Who is this? I found out the name of the guy I'm looking for. Is that so? Yeah, it's Khan. You know who I'm talking about, don't you? Yes, I delivered the suit to his hotel. The Hotel Ubu. Uh, I uh, don't remember the room number. Ubu? It was Interesting. upstairs. The second room on the right-hand side of the corridor. Thanks, Todrick. That's all I wanted to know. Now I've got you, Mr. Clown. Have you heard the name Ubu before? Now we're getting somewhere. No, uh, do you know the Hotel Ubu? No. Ubu? Yes, I do. That's where the clown stayed. Good work, George. Um, it's from Batman. It's um, Rachel Ghoul's uh, henchman. Oh. The one who in the cartoon keeps calling Batman infidel. I, what I are you doing to help trace the killer clown? Research, George. Yeah? 
You have a copy of the clown's yearbook? I have a telephone and lots of contacts. Oh. Well, did you find anything useful? Not yet. I'm employing my first and most useful weapon. What's that? Patience. Oh, I've heard of that. Isn't it a substitute for decisive thinking? Fuck off, George. Have you found out any more about the murders? Well, it may be nothing, but both the clan's victims visited Paris earlier this year. When? The second week of July. They were both here at the same time. Did they meet? I don't know, but I can't imagine it was coincidence. May I use your telephone? Sure, go ahead. Thanks. He can't call anyone else. They can't call Todrick anymore? No. No point in phoning that guy again. Yeah. Lame, I wanted to harass him some more. Can we go to his house? No. But you can't there is a new location we can go to. Oh, See you later. The hotel. Where are you going now? Yep. I could go hang out at the hotel Ubu. Watch out for Khan, Josh. Don't worry, I will. That's a nice couch. It is a nice couch. Nice day in Paris. Yes. The weather does not change for the whole game. Good. <laughs> it's the hotel. Uber you know what I would consider very, very unrealistic? What? If there was one set in London. And the weather didn't change, but it wasn't raining. <laughs> it's, just all, it's always been raining whenever I went to, to London. You want to go to the hotel? That's where you want to go. London next. just rains all the time. Not all the time. Who's this? Who are these distressful looking fellows? Oh, uh, you can chat to either, either of them if you want to. The guy looked just like a weasel. No, it looks more like Waluigi. Excuse me. <laughs> yes? Have you ever seen this clown's nose before? No. Do you recognize the guy in this photograph? No. I never saw him. What does this tool suggest to you? Hard labor. Will you shake my hand? Are you joking? Who knows where it has been? <laughs> that answer makes more sense now after you dodged the dog shit. Indeed. What does this tissue mean to you? Are you serious? Oh yes. Take a good look at the substance it's smeared with. You are sick. Very sick. Have you heard of a guy called Plantar? No. That name means nothing to me. I'm looking for a clown. Are you trying to be funny? No, I really am looking for a clown. There are no clowns here except you. Do you know a man by the name of Khan? No, I don't. It's very important I get to see him, and... I told you, I don't know him. Yes, but I assumed you were lying because of everything about you. Forget it. Now, now look at the other guy before you talk to him. The man looked like an amiable Bigfoot. He's a really short Bigfoot, dude. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah? Have you ever seen this clown's nose before? Nope. Do you recognize the guy in this photograph? Is this a trick question? No. I simply asked if you recognized him. Okay then. No, I don't. Excuse me. What? I sneezed. Oh, Sorry. bless you. What do these... <laughs> oh, never mind. Come on, <laughs> lazy! Shake my hand. <laughs> nah! Oh, rats. Do you recognize this tissue? Think carefully now. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I'm gonna have to hurry you. Ooh. Eh, time's up, so I'll tell you. It's a used tissue with a liberal dump of Bestheimer's number 12. If you say so. So is this guy a monkey now? 
going hoo hoo <laughs> at people. Do you happen to know a guy named Khan? That ain't nobody I know. I'm sorry to be a burden on your brain. <laughs> you ever meet a guy called Plantow? No, I ain't. You missed your chance. If you're quick, you'll catch him at the coroner's. Have you seen a guy dressed as a clown? No, I ain't. Don't tell me I missed him. Oh, that's too bad. I love the clowns, don't you? Yeah, I've seen daytime television that was funnier. I love it when the little guys get hurt. That figures. Custard pies, hose pipe down the pants, then smack! A plank in the kisser. See you later. Not if you see me first. Okay, to um, get this bit, there's nothing down the back alleyway at the moment. Don't worry about going down there yet. We're going down there. Nothing down there, but okay. We're going down there! <laughs> okay. Well, it's George's people. Is that a severed hand? Yes! Oh! Alright! We'll get back to that. I've never noticed that before. <laughs> right, go in the hotel and they'll immediately come out. And you can look at that if you want. The sign listed the price of rooms, and boy were they expensive. The killer must have been earning a fat wad to pay for accommodation like this. There's a gentleman reading a newspaper in there. Yes, there is. Wonder what he has to say about our tool. <laughs> you can ask him if you want. The woman was obviously English. Based she had all what? the qualities of Bodicea, Elizabeth I, and Margaret Thatcher rolled into one. It wasn't a pretty sight. Just talk to her. All right, I take offense at you insulting two of those women. The other's <laughs> Margaret Thatcher. Say whatever you like. <laughs> <laughs> if you, when you talk to her, you'll, you'll realize why he, why he says all those things. The figure of a sexless youth was frozen in mid-skip with a silly grin on its stone lips. Hi there, ma'am. Well, hello. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a man. You disappoint me, my dear. Hey! For one foolish moment, I thought. But never mind. Aren't you going to tell me your name? George. George Stobart, ma'am. How sweet! I once had a stable boy called George. I am Lady Piermont. The common reaction is to kneel and stutter, but it's not obligatory. A real lady? I mean, you're an honest-to-God aristocrat? Oh, I don't know about that. Few of my ancestors are honest, not even to God. I can trace my family back to the Normans. So you're not but English, don't let you're French. Don't you, George. Beneath that impressive pedigree, I'm just flesh and blood. The blood may be blue, but the flesh is the plump beef of old England, so to speak. You appear distracted, George. Is there any way I can help you? Do you know what? I, get, I, I know why, why you said about the Normans, but our royal family now is actually descended from German. I am aware. Even though it's, even though it's technically in the, on the same kind of line, they've married into different families, which yeah, it, it, people don't realise that. So, yeah. Also Greek. Greek as well. I, I thought um, uh, Prince was, was it Philip? Was um, Her Majesty's uh, husband Prince Philip? Was that someone else? Uh, uh, Prince Philip. Yeah, yeah. I thought he was uh, Greek. Not that I know. My mistake. Never mind. Not important. Um, I have a suspicion. I, I have a suspicion. What? This is the killer in disguise. <laughs> Am I right? No, you're not. Right. I'll tell you that. Do you know what this is? And I guess I'd say it was a clown's nose. That's right. It was worn as a disguise by a vicious killer. Ed Good heavens, are you trying to alarm me? 
It's yes. true. He uses the name Khan. I've never heard of the man. You've never heard of Genghis Khan, all right. Can you think of any use for this tool, ma'am? Oh, I can think of someone I'd like to use it on. Oh, my. He... <laughs> uh, I'm willing to kill people for money if that's something you, you would be interested in, ma'am. Oh, Do you um... recognize the man in this photograph? My God, it's him! That's Merlin! Oh. She represented everything I loved about the English. The lady was totally deranged. Merlin? You mean King Arthur's wizard? Good heavens, no! Monsieur Merlin is a fellow guest. Interesting. Would you like to shake my hand, ma'am? Now, George, there's no need to be so formal. We met as tourists, and I want to keep it that way, despite the enormous social gulf between us. I wish you could use items on other items in this game. <laughs> Because um, I'd combine the joy buzzer with the manhole key and hit people with it like it's some kind of taser. <laughs> you Does this tissue mean anything to you? Good God, no! I just thought the smell <laughs> might be familiar. Please, darling, put it away. I'm no shrinking violet, but that object makes me feel quite queasy. Like, the thing is, right, is that that good God, no, is, is so unbelievably... Um very uh posh british it's unbelievable hmm. a typical yeah. stereotype she's very um oscar wilde if you know yeah. what i mean. like uh have you ever read or seen a play called um the importance of being earnest no well to any viewers who have lady bracknell Will any of these end, like, cancel other conversations? No, no. All right. The man you know as Merlin is a fake. <laughs> what do you mean, sweetie? He's a murderer. He also uses the name Khan. I am shocked, Mr. Stobart. Shaken. I took him to be a gentleman. A man of honor. Oh, he is, you know, His own kind of honor. I'd rather like to assist you in stitching him up. When did you last see Merlin? It was no more than an hour ago. He came downstairs and spoke to that clerk chappy. Something passed hands. I couldn't see what exactly. A briefcase? No, smaller than that. A bundle of papers, perhaps. The clerk put it in the hotel safe and Merlin went out. I think this might be our first useful witness. Yep. Are you sure you saw Merlin putting documents in the safe? Yes, darling. Positive. I wonder what they were. Obviously something of great importance. Yeah. I'd sure like to get my hands on whatever it is. I'll bet they had something to do with Plantar's briefcase. Sorry about that uh, phone call. <laughs> so, keep talking about this guy. Has Merlin returned to the hotel? No, he hasn't. Are you going to search his room? Yes. If I could get in there, I would. Did you know there's a gangster out front? What makes you think he's a gangster? The Italian suit and the bulge in his pocket? I know plenty of men with Italian suits and bulges in their pockets. That doesn't necessarily make them gangsters. Oh, my. Are you here in Paris on vacation? No, darling, I'm on holiday. I needed to get away after Algie's funeral. I didn't realize you were mourning the loss of a loved one. I'm not. He was my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you find that so funny? It just, it was. I didn't know you were mourning the loss of a loved one. I'm not. He was my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? She hasn't gone far on holiday, though, has she? No, just, you can take a I train. Can't... <laughs> I'm sorry to hear about your husband's train. death. You wouldn't be if you knew him, my dear. It gave me the opportunity to take a well-deserved holiday. Daphne suggested a change of scenery. Paris, she said. A wild romance is just what you need to take your mind off the inquest. Well, the closest I came to romance was being wooed by a drunken Breton chef. I must say I was disappointed with his cock-o-van. Not at all what I was expecting. 
I was thinking of cutting my holiday short, packing my bags and heading back to Hemel Hempstead. That was until <laughs> last night. So, question. Mm -hmm. She is a wealthy woman, right? <laughs> I guess it seems like it. British aristocracy. What could yes. she possibly be taking a holiday from? They don't work. <laughs> Yeah, and you know what else? They don't fucking pay tax either. No, they bloody well don't. <laughs> Paris might not be a great place. Paris hasn't traditionally been a great place for people like you, ma'am. What happened to you last night? I was stricken, Mr. Sturbot. Cupid's arrow has cleft my bosom. They couldn't really miss. It was just as I'd always imagined it should be. The intimacy of candlelight, romantic music tinkling across the room, and then a stranger's glance. Those brooding eyes, that suave manner, those tight trousers. Mm. He was the man I'd been waiting for all my life. I'm glad he finally turned up after all these years. Ah, but it wasn't to be. He was merely toying with my affections. And if I ever catch up with him, he's dead. Oh my. <laughs> Mr. Merlin, I assume. I have to um, go, ma'am. Yeah. Did you see how um how much she like, she changes tune whenever when she talks about and then I recognize catch up the with guy. Him, it was the Nobel Prize winner dead. from the country whose name I couldn't pronounce. Excuse me. Didn't I see your picture in the news? You're that Nobel Prize winner from some unpronounceable Eastern European state. Don't say that to yes, him! that is me, in person. I don't want to worry you, but <clears throat> have you had any threats on your life? You know, mysterious phone calls, letters made up of headlines cut from the newspaper... I don't know what you're talking about. George, honestly... <laughs> Don't ask him if he's from the place with the unpronounceable name. He might oh. take offense at that. You can't pronounce it though. I know, but you don't like. Hey, are you the Nobel Prize winner I read about in the in the paper? That would have been enough. This is George Stobart. I know. I understand when you're being sensitive. <sighs> what does this clown's nose suggest to you? <sighs> In my country, we have no use for clowns. I'm glad to hear it. They were dealt with most severely in the last cultural cleansing. What about the mines? Um... Did you get them too? All gone. Our streets are mime-free. Sounds like heaven. They killed all the clowns! <laughs> all, all right. Do you recognize this man? He calls himself Khan. Yes, I know this man. Why do you carry his photo? Khan, you tell me more. I'm a private eh? detective. Have you any idea what this tool might be used for? I cannot guess. Would it mean anything if I told you it was for lifting drain covers? Such technology fills me with wonder. May I shake you by the hand? I do not shake the hands of imperialist dogs. Now that's a real bad attitude problem you've got there. I just noticed something. What? He's not wearing socks. Oh, he, he looks like he's wearing slippers. I mean, he might, but I wouldn't expect the full suit until slippers. <laughs> You'd expect like a smoking jacket or something. Hmm. Does this goo-smeared tissue mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. Do you know a guy called Plantau? I don't know anybody in Paris. Oh, well, this guy's dead anyhow. Why do you ask me about dead men? I have seen enough of death to last me a lifetime. I'm, uh, sure you have. Have you seen a clown? I beg your pardon? The clown. A guy in funny pants. Have you seen him? My pants are from England. Marks and Spencer. 
They are a pleasure and a comfort to wear with much support. I'm real glad to hear that. You know, it's good to know you Nobel Prize winners are human too. In my country, the people make do with string and egg cartoons. For pants? For everything. Oppression is the mother of ingenuity. So for those for those who don't know, more so like America's side more than mine, it, it, Marx and Spencer Thanks is for your expensive help. Goodbye. Well, still expensive place where you can get food and clothes. Yeah, I think I went when I went to London. Yeah. Which are not, they're not doing very well in the most few last few years. No, when no one has money, the place that sells expensive things isn't going to go well. Yeah, well, it's ex they're expensive, but they use um, child labor. So. Yeah. Also, there's okay. a there's a whole um, cost of living crisis and the energy crisis. So. And there was um, a little thing called um, the Go. thing we don't mention that happened in 2020. Ah, yes, the war. <laughs> no, the the other thing we don't mention, the other um, global pandemic. Ah, yes. Bonjour, killer. Hi, it's George. I have the address of the killer's hotel. If you're going to pay him a visit, take care. Remember, that guy's a professional. Thanks. I'll be fine. She already knew that you had the crisp. I was hoping to harass her. <laughs> you get a chance later on. Don't worry. Try and pick up the key. Yeah, I've got the key. Excuse me, monsieur. What? You are trying to steal that key, no? Oui. No way. <laughs> I love how... Hanging from a brass hook was a key and a plastic tag. It was the register of guests staying at the hotel. The clerk wore a disdainful expression, like he'd been born with it. Go on, pick up, uh, yeah, look at the, um... There was no one registered under the name of Khan. If the killer was staying here, he'd used a different pseudonym. Try look. Can you push the other? What did you, did you examine it, or did you? I did both. Okay. I want some information. Who are you? The police? I'm conducting a private investigation. Ah, I know only too well what you mean. That is one of the drawbacks of the catering business. When people book into an hotel, they leave their morals at home, no? Excuse me. I... <laughs> <laughs> I'll have you know I didn't have any of those to begin with, sir. You insult me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you recognize this red nose? No, monsieur. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? Yes, monsieur. That man is one of our guests. What name? <laughs> I cannot tell you that. But if I threaten you... What do you make of this tool? <gasps> Stunning, monsieur. I bet you handle it like a professional. <laughs> Hey, shake my hand. I'd rather not, monsieur. I'm still sore from the shock administered by one of the guests. <laughs> he was secretly concealing an electrical device in the palm of his hand. Huh. Practical jokes are so puerile, don't you think? Oh, yeah, sure. What do you make of this tissue? Do you wish me to dispose of it for you, monsieur? Hey, no! It could be useful. I'm holding on to this. As you wish, monsieur. Perhaps you would like a little plastic baggie to keep it in? Nah, it's fine the way it is. I'd like to remark just how lucky George has been so far. <laughs> what, they have got punched in the face? Well, that, and he's conducting an investigation in Paris, right? Yes. Every single person he's talked to has been able to speak English. 
Though I mean, but at a point it is Paris, so fair enough. True. It's a major tourist attraction city, so people visit it, so tourism is a big industry here. And obviously you'd expect he would be able to speak English, because hotel. But, yep. But that flower selling lady, you wouldn't think. No. I'd like to retrieve something from your safe. Ah, oui, monsieur. May I see some form of identification? Uh, uh like what? A driving license, perhaps? I don't drive. Your passport? I don't have it with me. I could show you my operation, Scar. I'm sorry, monsieur. I must have some form of unique ID. You won't find a more unique ID than my Scar. I'm sorry. I must insist on a more traditional identification. Rats. What if I pretend I saw rats in your hotel and then you can show me the... No? All right. <laughs> About the key hanging on the hook over there. Oui, monsieur. Which room is it for? Number 21. Is that room taken? No. The guests checked out this morning. I'd like to check into room 21. That is not possible. How come? You said it was vacant. It is reserved for another guest. Rats. No, monsieur. Dutch. Hmm. <laughs> Do you know a man named Plantau? No, monsieur. I'm looking for a man who dresses like a clown. This is a highly respectable hotel, monsieur. There are no clowns here. If you say so. I wonder if he thinks, if he suspects, we're, if his assumption was we are looking um, for sexual purposes. Thanks for your help, buddy. <laughs> Right, before we do anything else, go outside and um, watch a funny scene that happens. She plays very well. She does. So you know how George has been harassing loads of people in the last three videos? Yes. Just a minute, no, monsieur. Watch. What's your problem? No problem, if you cooperate. What do you want? Just a routine security check. Nothing to worry yourself about. Oh, well, all right. Search him, Flap. You bet! Hey, knock it off. Get off, you big ape! Nothing, Guido. Zilch! Our apologies, monsieur. What? I had to report you to the authorities. Round here, we are the authorities. You want I should break his arms? No. Yes. Let him go, Flap. George, you've just got to taste your own medicine. Now talk to Flap. Excuse me. Yeah? Don't you think you have some explaining to do? Huh? I'm an American citizen and a bona fide visitor to your country. What the... You can't touch me up in the street and expect to get away with it. Get lost, creep. Now, to, now try him again. Excuse me? Yeah? It's no good pretending you don't understand me. For the last time, get lost. Oh yeah? And what if I don't? What if I call the cops? First, I break your arms at the elbows and wrists. Then, when you recover consciousness, I break your fingers. There's just one flaw in your plans, Ape Man. What's that? It's broad daylight. I don't think even you would assault me on a busy street. Of course, this tranquil square at the end of a cul-de-sac. This <laughs> isolated corner of Paris that hasn't seen a street sweeper's brush since VE Day. This would be just about perfect for a mugging. Pardon me, I'm about to get very lost. Get lost! Creep. Now talk to Adam Excuse me. One. Yeah. Get lost, creep. Well, he he flip flop really quickly. Now talk to um. Hey, shorty. Uh, Guido, his name. About what? Oh. I thought it was gonna do automatic, but it didn't. Mm. It doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Forget it. 
And now let's go go back into the hotel again. Right, so when we get the um later on when we get um what we're here for, don't go back outside. You can show it off if you want, which might be not be a bad idea. What are you showing what off? What now, monsieur? It'll be later on, not now. Oh, okay. I've just been manhandled by a gorilla. Yes? <laughs> I do not see any signs of a gorilla. No, not a real gorilla. It was a guy who looked like a gorilla. It happened right out front of this building. Let me get this quite clear. Are you <laughs> complaining or bragging? I want to know what you're going to do about it. The scrawny one has a gun. I suggest you contact the police. Can't you do anything about them? What goes on in the streets of Paris is hardly my responsibility. I should punish you just for making that rhyme. <laughs> Aren't you concerned that your guests are being intimidated by gangsters? No one else has complained, monsieur. Did they steal anything from you? Well, no. They didn't find what they were looking for. What was that? I don't know. I don't think they did either. Right, now go and Thanks talk for your help, buddy. Let it appear more again. Should we call the cops? Uh, no. Okay. You, you, you can say something about it. Hi, ma'am. No point doing it now. Hello, George. What can I do for you now? That gangster I told you about? He went through my pockets just now. Good heavens! One never knows what to expect in foreign parts. Thank you for the warning, young man. I shall hide my credit cards in my underwear. Would you distract the clerk while I borrow a key? Are you asking me to aid you in a criminal act, darling? Yes. Oh no! It's the key to an empty room. And why, may I ask, do you wish to gain access to an empty room? Do you plan to squat? No, ma'am. Scouts or not? I was never in the Boy Scouts, ma'am. Oh, you should have been. What were your parents thinking of? It's a fine way for a boy to get licked into shape. Ugh. Now tell me, why do you want to get into that room? I'm hoping it's the key to Merlin's room. Well, how can I refuse? I shouldn't think my feminine charms would be much use in this case. But a good dose of English arrogance might do the trick. So is she fl just telling us the guy is gay? Or what? <laughs> She's my favorite character so far. I say! You there! Flunky! We, oui, madame. Listen carefully. You do understand English, don't you? But of course, madame. Good. I wish to deposit some jewellery for safekeeping. I understand. Are you quite certain? Oh, bien sûr, madame. Over to you, my dear. Now, why is in there? Grab the key. I figured as much. Now go upstairs. Hello again. <laughs> do you recognize this key? No, I do not. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. <laughs> Don't go back outside and show them it. There's no point. Hi, ma'am. Hello, George. What can I do for you now? I stole the key. Do you want this key? No, thank you, darling. I have to go, man. Oh, we have to. We have to. We can talk to her about the key. Hope that's thank you. Hi, ma'am. Hello, Joe. I got the key. Thanks for your help, ma'am. I have to. Go. Oh, George. We will make you commit remember. every crime on the books. I I can remember when I worked at um, the cinema and um, 
I think I had a couple the of door Americans was come in and they and they called me sir. I went, don't call me sir, call me Owen. <laughs> the door That's my was actual locked. Name. The door was locked. Now use the, uh, is it, I think the key is on the far right. That's the one. It'd be nice if they had numbers, but whatever. That's a weird Maybe thing to see. Maybe it wasn't the right room, but this was the right key. Like, there, there's a symbol over the door that looks like a thistle. Which is very weird for France. More I didn't notice that. More a Scottish thing. There was nothing in the wardrobe apart from a vague, lingering smell of camphor. Well, that's suspicious. I thought it was there was nothing the in the wall. No, you can't click on the lamp. You can click on the. Um, it was a massive cabinet. mahogany wardrobe. How do you know it's mahogany, George? Mahogany <laughs> is a very distinct color. With a wood. Yeah, but a my cabinet dad stood to, um, beside the bed. Own a um, wood flooring company. Pardon? My dad used to own a wood flooring company. Oh, really? Yeah, when I was younger. You can open the cabinet if you want to. The cabinet was empty, but it smelt of onions. No kidding, it really did. I like onions. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that a little the bit... The window looked out making? over a narrow alley surrounded by high walls. Pardon? It wasn't that, like, when he goes, no kidding, it really did. Like, a bit of 4-4 four, four breaking, like he's talking to us. Yes. Yeah, well, he's talking, to, he's talking to himself or out loud anyway, so it, it makes sense. Yeah. Mm. Right, when you get out, on, out of this window... Can I jump? At the, Can I jump? Try looking at the floor first. If I wanted my shin sticking out of my shoulders, I could have jumped. Yes, Mama Stewart didn't raise no suicidal fools, though. Aww. The cobbles <laughs> of the alleyway looked very distant and very hard. <laughs> this, however, we're going to leave George like this for, for a while. Okay. Let him think about what he's done. <laughs> and the choices that led him here. Yes, indeed. I, I have been Merrick Dometto. And I've been Classic Gamer. And I hope to see you next time for more Let's Play Shadow of the Templars. Oh, yes, definitely. Au revoir. Ciao. Hi. Thanks for watching. This has been played, edited, and recorded by me, Merrick Dometto. And he's been helped by me, Classic Gamer. You can find a link to Classic's YouTube channel, Classic's Gamer, and his Twitch in the description below. Please like, comment, and subscribe.